tonight, they're the images alarming Californians. In L.A., the homeless on places like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. For far too long, we have stood idly by as career politicians have ruined our great state of California. My name is Diego Martinez and I am a candidate for governor of California. I am a business owner here in our beautiful state. We also know that not everybody's meant to go to college, but everybody's meant to make a good living. So how do you do that if you don't have no college education? You may ask yourself, why does a business owner want to be governor? It's simple. California is a business and it's time we open it up for business. By the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce, 80% of residents say crime has worsened in recent years. 70% feel that quality of life has declined. Nearly 90% say homelessness has worsened. 76% believe that increasing the number of officers in high crime neighborhoods should be a high priority. We have some real problems in the state that need some real California solutions. 16.1 million. 262 tents, $61,000 per tent per year, $5,000 per tent per month. How do you get to $5,000 per tent per month? Who's approving that? We have the Board of Supervisors again, and, and they're the ones that decide where the money goes along with the mayor, uh, London Breed. And, but it's a tent. Uh, it's a tent, it's a tent. Richie. It's a tent. I, I know that. Yes. The California homeless problem, which is a state problem. I would like to invite you to follow me and see our situation. How about trade schools? How about bringing trade schools back so everybody has an opportunity to actually have a good job? We have a lot to do in the state of California, but if you do not deregulate it, if you do not make it business friendly, we will not have a California left to sustain us. But see, like, I don't come to one spot all the time. Like, I, I, out random, I'll just go out there and just start spreading it out. There's quite a bit here in uh, San Jose. There's quite a bit of homeless, and it's getting worse all the time. Yeah. I got lucky. I was a vet a Sunday. I was over at uh, Corey Park, Corey Court, uh, getting a shower and eating, right, for dinner, whatever. And he goes, you're a vet. Yeah. Yeah, I know this. And he goes, hey, I'll get you a spot tomorrow. I'm working over at Goodwill. He was working at Goodwill, so he could price people. And that's his job. That's what he does. But see, I still got these guys out here. I'm trying to get them in, but... She don't want to leave my son out here by himself or my daughter. I don't blame her, but... Thank daughter, you for your service, by the way. Right now, she's having uh, seizures, and she, they, they don't know why, they don't know why, and I think they got a clinch on it now, a little somewhat of it, I don't know. I was just going over here now to find out what's happening. So your daughter and your son are still out here? And my wife. You my can't? My wife won't leave them by themselves, but if, but if I don't jump on mine, I'll lose out. So I can't, you know, it's hard. And there's not housing for all of you guys? No, 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 no. no. I am here at Guadalupe River and Garden, where the most homeless people congregate. To my left, there's homeless people. Right behind me, there's some more. Right on the other side of the river, there's some more. As you can see right down here, why does our homeless population keep growing in the state of California? It does not help with our laws, like Prop 47, where minor offenders get to be sat and released. It does not help when you have a governor who's inviting homeless from other states into our beautiful state. People congregate around here. They live around here. Why? Because they have everything that they need. All the necessities of right downtown San Jose. Yeah, this is ruining our property values in our beautiful towns. Graffiti everywhere. You can't clean any of this up right now because they'd be here tomorrow. So why are there so many homeless? It's simple mismanagement by our government. How's it going? How you guys doing? Take this little guy home with us, huh? What's going on? 
Oh, no, here. No, 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 it's not funny. I lost my friend. A lot of them need help. Yeah, boo. Here, like, Saunders? Hey, boss, here. Yeah, take them to nope. a second. I don't like using these. Yeah, I can't have those. Yeah, take them to a, a, like a psychiatric. Uh, the Valley uh, Medical Center. Uh, they can't see him without an appointment. But, I mean... I'm not going to steal their name traps. That's no but So, so what we're trying to do... That's why we're here. We're looking around and seeing, because I believe 70% of the people who are out here are just like this. They need help. And if we can't get the facilities opened up where they can get checked in and help, you know, we're right here, right by the entrance of the highway. I mean, this is a shame. I mean, look at this. And it's a shame that he's gone to a hospital and they will not see him without an appointment. Ronnie's over there. He flies horse and rain. See? He's actually in the slip on the I like it. I'm Exactly. The cross I found over there by the Royal Hotel Pompeo that I gave to Nick for a week. All right, well, you guys take care and be careful, all right? Hopefully, we can help you guys out here soon. No, 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 I appreciate it. Thank you. No, no, I got all your change. No, 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 no. Hey, it, it's yours. Keep it, seriously. No, I got all your jewelry. I said, I need a jewelry. No. I can't. He's right here. I cannot do it. I can't see the picture anymore. Jennifer Jennifer Maria brought it. What's up? Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Do me a favor. No, no. Well, you got something to eat today. Okay. Buy, buy, you, buy you guys something to eat, okay? Yeah, God bless you guys. Four billion dollars a year. And we can't fix this. California has put a band-aid on this for far too long. We have to open mental health back up. 70% of the homeless have mental health issues, as you just saw. This gentleman, we're right by the freeway. He gets at the wrong time, car will run him over. Now, you guys want to see something funny and hilarious? I'm going to show you guys a sign over here. Do you see that? A thousand dollars for littering. Really? Look around you. Look at what we got going on here. We have got to get trade schools here. We have got to get these people educated. We have got to be able to uh, help the mentally ill here and get them off the streets. This is no way for the richest country in the world to be treating their citizens. Now, I'm not talking about a handout. I'm talking about a hand up. There's a difference. This isn't about welfare. This isn't about free. And you're going to have to use your imagination with me a little bit. Businessmen and women sitting here at lunch, having a picnic, enjoying their lunch, watching the water flow through the river with all this is nice and clean. In the summer mornings, early dusk, joggers up and down through here enjoying it. What this was really meant to be. He's running for governor. Oh, governor. Governor. Okay. How are you? I'm pretty good, man. You know, we're trying to live out here. Uh, well, see that you're doing a little thing out here, man. We're trying to get a solution. Yeah. Because what the governor is doing right now, it's been a band-aid. We have jobs out here. You know what I mean? I have a legitimate job that right down the street. I have to go to every day and come from. You know what I mean? And I, just, I still can't afford living. I still can't even afford a room. You know what I mean? And we have we have mental health people out here. We have everybody out here. Yeah. And and to live like this, I mean, it's hard. Yeah. I mean, we get no breaks, we get no help, we got no nothing. So we gotta, you know, live together. And, and, and you know, not that that we're not alright and we eat, but you know, thanks to the woman that we call mother here, takes care of us. Right. Know? But still, it's it's hard out here. You know what I mean? Especially the rain's gonna come. You know what I mean? It's gonna start flooding us out. I'm Ryan's a Republican, but I've always said this: both parties have failed the California people. Right. We are the California yes, people. Sir. Each and every single one of you guys are California residents, and we should right. be looking at how to help each other. Right. This thing of buying hotels, how many people they put in a hotel? 40, 45? What about the rest? There's hundreds of thousands of people right. going through this. Housing, just like you mentioned. We have right. got to be able to provide housing so that you guys can have a place. Then you can get a better job. Then you can right. actually grow and be able to move out and get yourself situated. Just give us some so, kind of something. What I'm running for is something like that. Right. It's an ability to give you guys a trade, bring trade schools back, start with you guys on construction, help take the old buildings that we have in the state of California that we own, that yeah. the state owns, the county owns, turn those into housing, right. have people just like yourselves who are homeless, come be a whole community and help us build the housing. Take some pride and get yourself a trade. Now, when you get done building your house, you get yourself through the rehab, now you can go get a job as a carpenter. You can go get your job as an electrician, a roofer, or a painter. Right. That's my idea on how to help get you guys off the street into a home where it's not free, 
because you build it. You yeah. sweat in equity, but as you get through the program, you move out and somebody else can move right on in. We want everybody to work because we know one thing. If we give you a job, if we give you responsibility, you have respect for yourself. You earn that right again. And even if you're just there maintaining the, the facilities, keeping them up, just keeping them clean, but you're doing something to earn your way. You know, they're forgetting about the people that are right here, you know, but people that they can see, the city can see, they give that to them. But what about the people if you come a little deeper into it? Well, we, we have nothing. We know that this is a California problem. We know that the governor right now is dropping $4 billion, but where is it? Yeah, and that's what we were here uh, showing everybody, that that money isn't here. It's not going to where it's supposed to be going. You can hide us, but we're still going to be here. You know what I mean? We're still living. You know, we're people too. Well, you know, there's a recall election going on right now. We're trying to remove Gavin Newsom. Okay. My name is Diego Martinez, and I'm actually on the ballot. All right. And I actually work for a living just like you guys do. I've been on hard times. I've found myself on the streets before. Right. Believe it or not, I had a job. That's what we need. Someone okay. Been here, done it with <laughs> I, us. I had a job and right. just didn't make enough money when I gave my ex-wife money to go right. with my kids because we separated. And I found myself on the street. So I understand that sometimes what we need is a hand up, yep. not a hand out. There's a difference there. Yeah. Hand up, yeah. get you back on your feet so you can get going. So that's what I'm running on. That's what you need, if you guys get a ballot, check out Diego Martinez and please check yes for the recall because this is BS and it has to change. Yes, and that's how our homeless population is staying. $4 billion, band-aids on the problem and no real solutions at the end. Talking about they used to put garbage bags out here. And I said that before, you wanna help the homeless? Bring garbage bags out here. Cause they wanna live clean. They don't like living like this, but when they don't have a place to put stuff, it makes it even harder for them. It makes it hard for them when they can't even shower where the county has actually taken their showers away because they're not visible. Yet, if you're getting on this highway, they're very visible. They're not just visible, it's dangerous. Not only for the driver, but for these folks. Because they're gonna walk out here with mental health, they're not gonna see a car coming, and is it really the car's fault, or is it their fault? It doesn't matter, it's an accident that could have been prevented. And that's what we need to do in California. If anything, Gavin Newsom needs to be recalled. He has failed us, he has failed the California people, and he has wasted $4 billion of our money. It is time to recall Gavin Newsom and vote Diego Martinez for governor.